Okay, so the first thing that we do is actually fill in our k-map, and we do that by looking at the four values in the summation, two, four, five, and six. So we put a value of zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have these four ones in the k-map. And now we want to find the blocks, the prime implicants. So we look here and we put a box around all of our prime implicants here. We have those two. Also have these two right there. And these two. And so the next step is to look at our distinguished ones. Right here and right here in blue. So now we're ready to complete our equation for this circuit. So we obviously want to use the two prime implicants that are located at these distinguished ones. And so the first one is going to be the pair that encapsulates here and here. And so we look over, and we see that c is a value of 0. So our function is going to have a not c. And then we look up from these. We see that b has a value of 1. a has a value of both 0 and 1, so we're not going to use that. So we have b not c. So we've taken care of these two ones right here. So the next thing is we want to take care of these two ones over here, because we have a distinguished one down here. For that, we end up with looking at c takes values of both 0 and 1, because this is a column. And we look up, and a, b takes the value of both 1, 0. So we end up with a, not b. And we're done.